Scientists today, I think, need to have a stronger grasp of the big picture and of the potential impact of what they do. We join the dots, if you like, between what is possible and what is needed. You know, by many measures, all research is a failure. So you have to have a lot of courage and you have to have the right environment where you can actually take those risks and get up and say, this will work, and then you try and try to make it work, and it might not. The most fundamental way that we approach the technology problem is to understand the motivation of the people involved in the activity. Park's very, very interested in developing technologies that are user-centered, so that's putting the user at the center of the design process. You know what's possible, you know what's actually needed as well, and combine the two perspectives into producing something that's useful. If you can see that certain links in a chain don't really need to exist and we're just going to, to cross over them, then you can get some dramatic changes. We actually uh, survive best by bringing many people together. Social scientists through chemists, physicists, mechanical engineers. The people are extremely collaborative and very open-minded. Park is fairly unique in nurturing people working with each other across disciplinary boundaries. There's a much broader uh, set of skills that are brought to bear on any problem. This interdisciplinary place that looks kind of in these spaces between the standard areas of focus. It's hard to compete with us because of, of, of the breadth of people that we have. I think of this as the entrepreneurial scientist role. You're encouraged to take risks. We really value radical kinds of approaches, radical thinking. Create something difficult to replicate so that we can have an edge in the business market. The point is it's not just a sit back and think tank job. It's hard work every day. And we produce something that has immediate value that can be turned into product or, or a line of products. I personally love building things. I like to see the blinking lights or packets flying across the network and seeing an application actually run. Because it's a place that combines the best of innovative practices in business, technology, science. Customers and technology differentiation, business. Park is a great place because it has all of those things. You have to be more competitive, and that means you have to do a much better job of solving people's problems. So you have to identify the problems, and you have to solve them better than anybody else. Because it's hard to be among the best in a broad variety of, of disciplines and domains, but that's what we always strive for. Never second best, always tops. It's part of a, a wonderful history that has enabled uh, many people throughout the world to have a, a better life.